you're someone who's not a videographer, if you're someone who likes movies, or if you're someone who just loves to color grade, as I do, then this video is for you. This is Dehancer. Now, what is Dehancer? Dehancer is an advanced color grading plugin for all the major editing uh, apps out there, as in DaVinci Resolve, the one I'm using, Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, etc. What does it actually do? Well, it gives your log footage. So if you see here, this is the log footage that I took. It gives them um, a grade, but basically emulating film, like film videos, film photography. So if you're a fan of that, you will love this. Uh, you will love this plugin. Now, I'm sure you've seen a lot of Dehancer videos. If you haven't, you should check them out too, from other creators. Some of them who are professional color graders, or maybe some guys who, you know, color grade for a lot of years, and they can explain better how to use Dehancer in a professional way. But I just wanna take, uh, I just wanna see, let's say, another part of Dehancer, which I don't see a lot of creators actually, well, mentioning about why it's worth like in the, in another kind of way so as i said i'm not a, a professional videographer i'm not a professional uh, color grader and probably i will never be i'm a photographer i love film photography and i'm a professional photographer who uses fujifilm so i'm still you know drawn toward that analog kind of vibe uh, but i dabble in uh, making videos like this that you just saw I like composing shots like I was composing some street photography because I also practice a lot of street photography and I would like to do the same in my videos and giving them that analog look. I like to use DaVinci Resolve because of the endless possibilities uh, to color grade your footage just like Lightroom is for, for pictures. But I'm not an expert on DaVinci Resolve and a lot of stuff I don't know. The enhancer makes it super easy for you to, to, to color grade your footage without knowing that much, basically. And this gives you the chance to fall in love with your work, to fall in love with color grading videos. So maybe later on you have a career as a color grader, or maybe you become a videographer just because of that. It's the same logic as I, when I started learning the guitar. I knew it was for me, I knew it was for myself. It wasn't, uh, I didn't want to be a professional guitar player or be in a band, stuff like that. I just wanted to learn nothing else matter by Metallica and by learning that then I started to apply more techniques so I could play it better and so I started getting better at the guitar. As I said, the answer makes it really really easy for you to start your color grading journey uh, and then you can decide if you want to be a professional color grader, you want to be a videographer or you're just gonna have this for fun or YouTube or other social media platforms. Without further ado, let's jump right on. What is the answer? So as you start. I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna delete these other layers, which are basically just, um, let's see, here I applied some contrast, and uh, yeah, and here I just warmed up the image a bit and gave it some, some color, but you can do it without these two, so let's say I just want Dehancer, I just delete this, and I'm gonna delete Dehancer too, you know, I'm starting from the beginning, so this is the, this is the row let's say footage that I took I'm gonna stop it right here and I'm gonna create a new no uh, node nodes are like layers in Photoshop so add node add serial and this is now my second node now here on my library I search for Dehancer so the the answer and I drag it and drop it here I'm, I'm sure the process is similar to, to other um, uh, softwares too, but in this case I'm using DaVinci Resolve, but I'm sure in Premiere Pro or uh, whatever, Final Cut, it's the same. So now I got the menu of the answer, and as you can see, it's very straightforward. I select the source. My file is not Rec. 709, it's from Fujifilm uh, F-Log2. So I choose camera, I select choose camera, and then you appear, uh, this section appears, vendor choose Fujifilm, I choose camera, XH2S, and then I choose format, which is F-Log2, all right? So basically we have the, the basic uh, stuff done, 
Now here you have exposure compensation, you know, making it darker, making it brighter. I'm just gonna leave it here for now. Uh, temperature, you know, you can have uh, warmer, colder, tint. So uh, if you're a photographer, you, these are pretty straightforward. Even if you're not, you once you drag and uh, re slide them, you understand what they are. Uh, so now I'm gonna go over to the first section, which I sorry drag this up so now i'm gonna go to um selection of the film this is like the the root of your what your color grade will be and you have a lot of of uh films to choose from so uh if as i said if you're a film photographer some of these films you've heard before and as you see as you change them your whole grade uh, drastically changes let's say um, one, uh, the most popular ones for videos are this Kodak Vision uh, and the T here stands for tungsten like if you are recording on tungsten light and these says or daylight or <coughs> excuse me or if you are recording with natural light um, so let's see you can also you can also use uh, Cinesteel you know very popular ones and then you can push or pull the the clip again you don't need to know what push or pull means i don't want to go into details now explaining what push or pull means in terms of film photography uh, if you want to be a better colorist of course you need to understand what these are but later on you can find them out for now you can just you know drag them around and see if they if they do what you want you know like for example uh, I, I would like it to be more more towards the let's see toward this side so like colder I i'm going for a different look now here we have the contrast boost if you want to give some contrast to your images or, or leave them as they are you know uh, oh excuse me you gotta enable them of course <laughs> i thought my computer was very slow so here is too much contrast i think here is good like right here then we have gamma correction you can play around with it too so again i'm not going to explain in detail what every thing of the uh, what each of these does now one of my favorite tools is this color boost tool right here and look at the difference it does when you slide it i mean take a look at that wow look at the tiles the colors here the greens her face is not is not too much you know the skin looks good and we just slide it over and as of right now for me this looks great i mean i i could stop with this and go ahead and, and take a look at another clip but we're just gonna still play around a bit film compressions this basically like compresses the highlights and for example tonal range let's slide it up let's see what it does to the highlights you see the highlights become more soft <clears throat> not that harsh and the more you drag it the more soft they become and you can see all these changes uh, here on the sculpts too. Uh, this is like the level, uh, like histogram for photography. So you can you can move this around. I like to have a bit of contrast. I'm going to leave it right here. Impact, moving this. You can see it's like the general impact of, of the settings down on this menu. Print, now here is a fun one too. Here you can change the print. Uh, you can change the print look. What it means is basically when uh, all this always goes back to film photography basically when you took a picture with an analog uh, camera and you had your film which was inside then you had to develop it and then you had to to print your photos because at, at the time you didn't have com computers to just scan them and you know put them on the on the uh, computers so you had to print it on a paper and depending on the paper you get you got different types of um, colors uh, and stuff like that so I left it at linear but you can you can leave it here or you can leave it here and then you can just change the other settings for example you can change contrast let's see yeah you see now you can you can move it so it it's better looking here gamma correction let's see what this does So, as I said, you have to play around with it, because I'm not an, an expert on this. But I go with, my, with what I, you know, what I feel like looks better. 
so I'm gonna just go and leave this as linear because this is what I like I don't need to know every aspect of it why I like it I just see it as visually appealing and I like it and then you can have color head this is basically just changing the colors you can gang them so all three of them are together and you can you know you can give them like a bit of a I have to enable them so you can give them like a tint from uh, so here is like a greenish tint here is more like a purple one so if you like that you, you could do that or you could just go with them alone and change them and see how it looks yeah i think it looks good here just more 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 like a balanced uh not that warm and then you can add uh, shadow tones so this is just add warmth or or coldness to the shadow area and the same is mid tones here and the same is to the highlights here so you can play with this and you can you can see how how they look i'm just going to reset them here you have grain you can have different types of grain grain is one of the best best aspects of dehancer the grain dehancer gives is really not comparable with any of the default grains you can get from like davinci resolve or maybe premiere pro or final cut pro depending on what you are using so this is the grain you can enable or disable it you can have different amount this is the halation halation is off so we can enable and you can see just that tiny tiny speck here on the on the uh, highlights on the specular highlights let's say so take a look here take a look at the rail here you see so uh, this is disabled and now it's enabled and this adds halation like that warm like glow effect to the highlights to the specular highlights and of course you can also play around with it you can amplify it I, I wouldn't go too much sorry i wouldn't go too much with this because uh, i like it just to be subtle but you could play around and and see see the the difference so you see what difference it makes i i love it for I, this is as much as i need i don't need more than this and now we have the bloom and this is the bloom so look disable enable as you can see just softens all the image like uh, like blooms out the colors the highlights you know stuff like that and you can raise it or change it depending on what you like and now from here from film damage breath gate wave gate weave sorry overscan uh, these are all um, part of your final look but they don't change the color much they are more towards the, the the look you're gonna get like if you're gonna have that old movie film like damage like you see scratches on the on the movies like when you see those black and whites a hundred years before films and you see the scratches or gate weave if you want to see like well, sometimes the 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 movies uh, jittery because the the physical scan is jittering stuff like that so you could see what those are too and over scan is uh, you can enable that and see it adds a texture just like it was in if it was scanned with the well, over scan just as the name says so you get this black i don't know the name in english sorry uh, that you would get in the movies so yeah you can play around with those and then there's vignette vignette and basically this is it there's a lot generator so if you want if you like this look that you get uh, you could save it and then you could apply it to all the other uh, movies you have, uh, clips you have. And basically this is it. So I want to thank Dehancer for reaching out to me. And obviously all the opinions are my own. Dehancer never said anything about that. And they were very clear that the opinion should be your own. But uh, I already had formed an opinion by seeing uh, other people use Dehancer. So when they reached out to me, I was very thankful. And I knew that I would have fun playing with it. Dehancer is fun. Is it expensive? Well, it is a bit expensive, but is an iPhone expensive? Is the next uh, console expensive? They all are. If, if you want to have it just for fun, just like you have the newest console or the newest phone, you can have this too. But since you watch all this video, you can get a purchase discount by 10% if you use the code HOXTEN on any purchase of Dehancer and I get a little something out of that commission. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys like this video. And please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more 
I'm going to try to be a better videographer as you follow my journey along with my street photography. And it's all thanks to Dehancer for making me motivated enough to go and shoot videos so I could color grade them and make them look like this. So thank you and see you in another video. By the way guys, Dehancer also has updated their iOS app. So if you open up the app, you can see it's very straightforward and easy to use. It works for videos and photos. So these were my last edits. It works for videos and photos and you can select a preset they have or you can do your own. Uh, so look at the difference right there. Here you get all the settings that we previously discussed. Only they are in uh, the menus down here. So you have crop, you have the source, you can change the temperature, exposure, you can select the film you want to use. Pretty much all the same kind of uh, settings you could use on the DaVinci Resolve or any other uh, editing software. It also works for video. So let's take a video. This one of me being mysterious. <laughs> and you know, you, you can change the print and you can do go to developer color boost you can do all the stuff you want to do and then you can export i wish they'll give us 4k in the future but basically basically you can do everything you, you did uh, on your computers so that's it thank you again dehancer for letting me try out the app here on the iphone and it makes it super easy to work and edit your photos and videos from your phone.